Now, one of the advantages of the Ionic 5 and all the high-end Kia electric platforms, the new vehicles, is that you've got this vehicle to load. So we can plug something into the socket and use it in an emergency um, to power outdoor equipment to, for camping, uh, ideal. But there's a big problem with this. This is not waterproof. And when we put the plug in, we plug it in here, this setup isn't waterproof in wet weather. Now, if you're wanting to use it in a storm because you had a power cut, you want to come out, plug this in, and be sure it's waterproof. But there is a simple solution. Now, that's locked because I've set it to lock in. That can't be removed until I briefly unlock the car again. So I need to lock the car. All right, lock the car, unlock the car, open the door, remove the, the, the adapter. Now, what I've put round here is some electrical tape to seal the gap between this plug and the casing. But that by itself isn't enough. I've got this EPDM. This is a rubber sheeting used for roofing, not PVC, it wants to be rubber, and it's quite elastic. Now, you can see that I've made a hole, and the hole is a lot smaller than the plug. So I get this the right way around, because it's not easy to move once I've moved it. I'll give you the measurements in a moment. Now, we want to fit the plug into this hole. We're really stretching the rubber tight. If you cut it the same size as the plug, it won't work because it won't form a seal. Now you can see pulling it on. And we pull it back till it just covers there, so I'll show you some close-up pictures. There we go. So that is now a watertight seal, but it will still fit into the socket. And you should hear that lock. And there's a button here, we can turn on the power. And this if this is fixed underneath, and we'll show you this completed in a bit, this wants to fold underneath, that folds underneath, and now we've got an effective weatherproof seal. And the cable comes out below here, but it's waterproof, and in a storm, that's going to stay in place. It's going to keep this junction, the plugs, the plug in here, all safe and sound. That's locked again, so in order to remove it, lock the car, unlock the car, open the door, and that should now be loose and unlocked. So I'm going to go and fix this together so that it uh, stays in place and as you can see we have a waterproof jacket over the plug with a very durable uh, EPDM rubber cover so we'll show you the uh, finished article so this is the uh, finished uh, mock-up um, the sheet's folded over and all the edges of the sheet are round the base here. So we've got a tight seal round the plug. 
there's no water inlet at the end. We can fold the cover up to see the indicator, the button, plug in uh, a cable. And then when it's plugged in, we can simply clip it and any water will drain off. Um, that's far more waterproof than it was before. Uh, as you can see, I've simply sewn the edges at the base. Uh, you do need to use a, a strong needle and a pair of pliers to do the sewing, but it's the most effective way of joining the EPDM sheeting. So there we've got a waterproof cover with a seal around the plug ready for use. So that's uh, far more useful for camping or if there's power cut in a storm and you want to power things inside the house and we can still, when not in use, cover the plug with a cover like that. So, now to go and try it on the car. Green lights on, working. Yep, one waterproof cover. That's it. Waterproof, working. Uh, totally protected, clipped on, not going to blow off, uh, excellent. Right, this time I've got a fan heater, quite a powerful one, a power meter and a short extension cable. I want to see how this actually performs. Right. Uh, uh, let's just lift that off. A bit more room. Right. Turn it on. Green light. Right. Waterproof fan heater running. And let's zoom in, see if we can read the That's showing 230 volts with just the fan running and this little indicator light here. So I'm going to turn up the heat on one, two, three. So that's uh, pumping out the full amount of heat, that's quite hot. Um, let's have a look at the wattage. 2.5 kilowatts. So on the short lead, uh, what are we drawing? 11 amps. Fifty hertz. At uh, two hundred and twenty-nine volts. Turn off the heat. So uh, we're just on the fan. Right, turn it off. Two thirty volts. So that's quite a good response. So let's. Uh, 
pushing it up towards its maximum. That's behaving itself. Now, of course, if you're using a long extension lead, drawing this amount of power is going to reduce the voltage at the other end. So if you're powering uh, a house through with a long extension lead, you might find you have problems with low voltage. But uh, the car's certainly performing well there. 